Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your January 1st through 15th reading. This is a collective reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, which means that this is for everyone. If you would like a personal reading, please go to royalmystic.com and you can schedule your own private reading where I can tune into your energy directly and give you a personal reading. So with that being in mind, let's move forward. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome here, and your energy is very appreciated at all times. Thank you so much. Let's see what the first two weeks of January 2019 has in store for Scorpio. Here we go. Oh, fast moving energy moving in for Scorpio. Leaving things behind. Ooh, two of Cups. This is your relationship, love life, and spiritual life. And then we have career and finance. Underlying energies, that's good Scorpio energy, three of cups. This is celebration, uh, overflowing of love, happiness, laughter, joy, intuition, inspiration. This is a good family energy, a good loving energy, very happy and content. This means that your energy is peaked right now and you're able to move in your own kind of like to your own drummer okay this is the knight of swords and this is all about having energy moving swiftly divinely inspired quick moving fast moving cutting you loose from things this is clearing a path as well he's moving through swinging that sword and it's got that beautiful light on it so it's inspired so you're going to get some kind of communication quickly a lot of you uh, may be moving. This is a pick, packing up what you need and leaving what you don't. Uh, sometimes we have to move on and leave the things that are no longer necessary or useful. Whatever is not useful to you, you need to let go, give it to someone else, leave it behind. Don't keep traveling with a whole bunch of baggage that's unnecessary. It's just dead weight. Five of Pentacles. This is having divine energy moving behind the scenes. And even though you can't see it because your back is to it. You see that? Her back is to the window. So things are happening behind the scenes. So even if you can't see it, doesn't mean that things aren't working in your behalf. You can be winning and not even realize it. Because the universe is making things happen in your behalf behind the scenes. Getting things ready for you. Positioning things. Then we've got the Two of Cups. For some of you, this is a divine relationship coming in. This is uh, considered the soulmate card. This is a divine union. Either way, it's about your higher self either making a union with another person or making your own uh, recognition of the divine being that is within you. And when you realize how important that is and, and give yourself that uh, creed, credence, okay, to the, if you pay credence to your higher self and honor that, it will change your entire life. So if it, you know, you don't always have to have another person. This is just divine energy moving through here, giving you that union. Now we have in your relationship, love life and spiritual life, the hermit. The hermit is about going within, finding your inner light, strengthening strengthening it, building up your higher self. A lot of spiritual work going on here. So that's really uh, showing up present for you at the first week of the first two weeks of January for 2019. This is lining yourself up on your path. Then you have the devil card. Now, if you, if you notice, this devil card is between two big energies. These are, all three of these are major arcanas. So, this devil card has some usefulness because this can be about having a new relationship come in or some kind of a very fiery, inspiring, passionate relationship. It can also be the fire and inspiration and passion that's within you in the current relationship if you have one. Uh, the other thing is, this can be 
uh, on the opposite side of the of the scale. This can be your own um, self doubt or self sabotage that's not allowing you to move forward on your path. This can be your own blockage, and this is saying you have to let this go in order to be the magician. The magician is using divine energy to manifest his beautiful positive outcome that he wants. So all he has to do is keep himself positive and keep the goal in mind. And this is saying from the universe, this is saying to you, you already have all the tools you need. So if this happens to be you uh, causing your own blockage or standing in your own way, you can get out of your way just by concentrating on the goal and letting the universe take care of the details. Now in your career and finances, some of you are looking at embarking on a new, uh, a new endeavor. This is the Queen of Cups. This is the Scorpio energy. And she's having a little bit of fear about the future, what the future holds, maybe something new that she's never done before. It's okay. Um, we all get afraid when we're changing. Change is scary. And you never know what's going to happen. However, this is going to change your entire life. This is the death of the old way. And you've got to have out with the old and in with the new. So whenever you give up one thing, this is replaced by another. This is clearing your path for you. That's what that was talking about. And here comes the Six of Wands. This is being seen head and shoulders above the rest. This is a victory. This is standing out in a crowd and having attention paid to you in highest acclaim. So if you're trying to get a new job... Whatever this new endeavor is, it's it's you're it's looking good, and you're letting letting old things go. That's what that's talking about. And even though it feels like nothing's happening, and you may feel left out or forgotten, you aren't forgotten. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say, Scorpio. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, jumping in there. Gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here along with our higher selves to allow all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, Divine. Your information and energy are always welcome. Three of Cups showing up again. You've got the Hermit again and the Death card again. So this is definitely things changing for you. The Archangel Michael is here to guide your way. King of Swords, this is an air sign as well. Uh, he is removing obstacles. He is moving things out of the way. This is definitely protection and uh, the ability to have what you need to move forward. For some of you, this may uh, be something to do with an attorney or some kind of uh, legal counsel. This can be an engineer, anybody in law enforcement. The Archangel Michael is the patron saint of all uh, service members and law enforcement. So, here's this great knight of swords flying through with a divine inspiration, idea, or clearing the path. Clarity is coming. Queen of Pentacles, very grounded and stable energy. She is uh, solid as a rock. Very, very, uh, her nerves are solid. She is the one you want on your side. Also, she is very stable and committed. This uh, coin has to do with commitment. We have the Seven of Swords where you're dropping all the old stuff and possibly even physically moving. So you can be metaphorically moving on and leaving old junk behind or you could actually be moving. Then the Nine of Rods is finishing this last thing before you go to complete everything and be able to move on without anything dragging along behind you. Being, in, being feel, Feeling left out and afraid, and that's exactly how she's feeling. Very uh, worried and melancholy about what's coming. This is, the, this is the Scorpio Queen. And here is the Two of Cups, which is showing it's not quite time for it yet. It's on its way. It's on the vine, but it's not ready to be picked. And he's waiting, patiently or not patiently, he's waiting. He's not leaving until it's time for that to happen. We have the Hermit and the Three of Cups. So here's the Three of Cups over here. 
You st it's seconding that emotion, and you've got the hermit again clarifying over here. So definitely want to get yourself in this uh, meditative place. Restore your chakra energies. Do yoga, tai chi, whatever can restore your energy and realign you is going to be better for you because this is that Scorpio Three of Cups showing up as a celebration. The Devil card and the Lovers. So some of you, this is a brand new relationship, very hot and steamy. <laughs> That's what that's talking about. And here we have the Magician with the Death card. This is letting go of old mindsets so that you can start this new process. You're, you're, the only limitation is your own thinking. And if you stay negative, you can't move forward in this energy. You've got to be positive. This has to be of a, a place of love. That's what this green chakra is around him. Okay, so allowing yourself to move forward, letting the old stuff just let bygones be bygones, begin again in a brand new, let the, let the death card come in and clear the slate for you. He removes all the debris of any of the damage or rubble from any destruction that has happened before. Queen of Cups, you've got this melancholy fear, okay, it's okay, you're having a little anxiety of the future. Because you don't know what it holds. And this is the moon coming in. This is your higher self to reveal what the new beginning is. And it's okay. You'll learn as you go. And that's fine. That's what life is anyway. We never really fully know anything. Here's the death card. Death of the old way. Bringing in the new. Letting go of all ties that bind. Any obligations that you previously had are completely null and void. And you're able to move freely forward. And allow yourself to really get down into that energy of finding your own path. And whatever your destiny is, is about to be revealed to you. That's what this is telling you. That's your soul guiding you. And here is the beautiful Six of Wands. So some of you are going to be a champion at the new job. This rods stand for work. And then you've got the timekeeper here. Three days, three weeks, three months, or third time's the charm. So this was pretty cut and dry here. Uh, I wish all of you the very best, Scorpio. Uh, this is a great new beginning for the year. And uh, I want to remind you, don't forget we have the Daily Mystic. I'm about to start the uh, memberships for that. It's $4.99 a month. It's a way to help support my channel. Uh, instead of donations, it's a membership. So I really appreciate all of your support. I appreciate this wonderful past year. And I'm looking so forward to this next 2019 doing all of this with all of you. You are a blessing to me. I hope I am equally a blessing to you. I also have the 2019 overview of the of each sign. So check that out. Click on my eyeball icon. It looks just like this ring. Click on that and it'll take you right to my channel and you'll be able to see the playlists. It also has meditation on there since you're, you've got this hermit showing up twice. There's different meditations. Check those out. Those are free. I got those off of YouTube. Those are some channels I follow. And those energies, I have listened to every single one of those. And uh, I love them. So, many blessings to you. I'll talk to you again soon. Love you all. Namaste.